Hey there folks and welcome to the electronics workshop. Today I'm going to be showcasing you my spring body mask. Here it is. And you guessed it, I ran out of content to post. Anyway, I'm quite happy with the results of this thing. This is my first fully 3D printed project and it turned out quite... Mm, let's just say it could be worse. So yeah, Dale Electronics had a, a really long history with Spring Bunny Guy. We were trying to make this thing uh, many, many, many times, but it always turned out quite weird because these kind of robots uh, aren't suitable to contain people because uh, uh, the shells aren't that reliable to fix all the mechanisms on them uh, and the plastic ones would be better for this kind of purpose and that's why this mask is fully 3d printed and i ain't gonna stop here i actually plan to make the entire spring body suit out of plastic and uh, the plastic is so expensive but it doesn't matter for us because we're here for the result so as intended this thing has some working server stuff but it can also be worn by a person uh, so that's it i don't know what else to say let me just wear it give me a second here you go guys let's just see what functions it has it can open its jaw, it can move its ears, it can move its eyes, but it's hard to show without the controller board. It's the first and the second one, and the eyelids are also movable. So that's it. I have already equipped batteries and the speakers, so. It's only left to put a controller board and this guy will be able to move in its own. So yeah, that's it. This is just a small update because uh, I'll keep you posted about the rest of the suit. So as for the mask, as you may have noticed, I used this help wanted spring body model, which is uh, pretty much official. It's kind of official, but that's it. And actually, I haven't seen any Spring Bunny cosplays which are using this model as a reference. I already have several parts printed and waiting to be polished and painted after that. And I'll be able to assemble the suit together. Here comes the arm parts. This is this, is this thing. The gloves aren't printed yet and I have several troubles with them because uh, in the Canon they're too small to fit a person's head. But we are working on it and I'll be able to wear this guy. Maybe I'll just go to the local movie theater to see the FNAF movie wearing this thing. If I want to convince uh, the movie theater to use my animatronics to promote the movie. It's hard for me to believe that they'll agree anyway. By the way, I have a small update about Freddy. Uh, I posted a video about him a month ago, I think, where I stated that I'm going to fit this guy with artificial intelligence and stuff. Uh, and uh, that plan actually worked out and uh, my friend helping me to write a program for him. This guy will be able to speak on its own like you know i'm more into building things but not into programming but that guy is going to use a sort of chat gpt technologies to make freddy talk and will connect their freddy's uh, computer to the controller boards and we can program the movements as well there's only one thing that is actually wrong about this and uh, these are the movements the guy said that it will be uh, quite hard to make the movements as smooth and as lifelike as they were in the original uh, and that's kind of pity since the electronics was uh, working on making robots lifelike all these years and uh, I'm not quite sure right now which is better making them clever or making them lifelike and uh, FNAF takes that thing, FNAF combines those concepts but we're not in FNAF, you know, we're in real world and the real world sucks. That's all for now. Goodbye.